Did the Hebrew authors of the Bible's Old Testament really expect readers to believe that Abraham lived to be 175? That his sister wife Sarah gave birth at age 90? That Moses turned staffs into snakes and rivers into blood? Why did the Hebrew authors of the Bible omit all of the important historical names of Egyptian pharaohs? Why did they mix up historical fact with myths and legends? The big question is, what did they have to hide? Researchers of both Bible and Egyptian history have concluded that the Hebrew authors of the Bible covered up the fact that the Hebrews and the Egyptians shared the same royal bloodline. But why? Why the cover-up? Because after the Egyptian people forced the Hebrew Hyksos kings out of Egypt, the only way the Hebrews could continue ruling Egypt was to hide their Hebrew identity from the Egyptian people. They did that by changing their Hebrew names to Egyptian names and intermarrying with Egyptian royalty, just like the biblical Joseph did. By hiding their Hebrew identity, the Hebrews continued to rule Egypt secretly as Egyptian royalty. They worshipped Egyptian gods, followed Egyptian laws, and violated Jewish Hebrew laws. This meant they had to hide their Hebrew identity not just from the Egyptian people, but from the Hebrew people as well. They had to keep their royal Hebrew-Egyptian identity and their worship of